तो ये इंटर स्टूडेंट्स जीएसटी एमसीक्यू बुकलेट आ गई है यस आईसीए रिलीज जीएसटी एंड अ डीटी एमसीक्यू बुकलेट ये वाली जीएसटी वाली है uh, we are going to do the entire booklet right now whether you are giving your november exam or you are giving your may 23 exam doesn't matter which exam you are giving 22 or 23 dono ke liye applicable hai i'll tell you the requisite changes agar jahan jahan pe kuch changes hai to and we'll cover the entire thing about 85 mcqs hai icie ne diye hain and about 17 or 15 case studies hai wo hum sare karne wale hain is video mein watch it ye khud ke uh, khud karoge mcq booklet to bahut hi lambi lagti hai and you try to give it midway to uh, saath mein karenge pura karenge and bahut acche se karenge guys uh, for this what do you need you don't need anything uh, if you have a print out of the mcq booklet great otherwise every time you want to revise the mcq booklet you can watch this video probably on 1.5 uh, speed and uh, you can finish the mcq booklet with me gst ke baad dt booklet bhi nikalne wala hu uske liye bhi youtube dekhna and uh, whenever uh, you find time to revise after you finish the portion ideally this is supposed to be done all right so uh, let's start right away i'm just going to show you uh, the mcq booklet here this is the mcq booklet let's first start with the normal mcqs what do i mean by normal mcqs guys two type ke mcqs aate hain one is just uh, what they've given your 85 mcqs they've given a small paragraph and they've given a mcq exam mein waise nahi aate hain exam mein they give you a case study and then they give you an mcq but of course that also we will do here in the same video so starting off with the mcqs uh, the ones which are highlighted this one i will uh, drop a link uh, of my google drive if you already have my google drive link then this document will be there the ones in yellow have to be done time and again so that you are very well versed and these are the ones that i found slightly difficult all right so let's start mcq questions this is for gst idly gst ka ek bar aap video dekh lena maine ek 75 minutes mein pura gst video upload kiya hai watch that and you might find it really really useful stress mat lena confidence rakhna let's do this xn company a supplier registered in meghalaya wants to offer competition scheme the aggregate turnover guys aggregate turnover lasted up to 1.5 hona chahiye but for northeastern states except assam but including uttarakhand 75 lakh hona chahiye so answer is b 75 lakh next a person making interstate supplies from madhya pradesh which is not notified handicraft goods or predominantly handmade notified products is compulsory required to get registered guys you are making some supplies which are interstate from madhya pradesh guys interstate if you remember section 24 ensure compulsory registration is needed to nai ye maine kya bola abhi ye ek shortcut tha to remember these sections if you want to know much more such shortcuts you can enroll for any of my classes in bombay bangalore or online बट एनी वेज सो अगर आप इंटर स्टेट सप्लाई कर रहे हो तो आपको कंपल्सरी रजिस्टर करना पड़ता है एक्सेप्ट टू थिंग्स हैंडीक्राफ्ट में नहीं करना पड़ता है ट्वेंटी लैक्स एंड सर्विसेज में भी नहीं करना पड़ता है ट्वेंटी लैक सो लेट से ये कहां पे कर रहा है एंड इसको रजिस्ट्रेशन रिक्वायर्ड है कि नहीं है इफ इज एग्रीगेट टर्न ओवर एक्सीड ट्वेंटी लैक ऐसा तो कुछ नहीं है इफ इज एग्रीगेट टर्न ओवर एक्सीड टेन लैक टेन लैक इज ओनली फॉर स्मॉल स्टेट्स लाइक एन टी मामी नागालैंड त्रिपुरा मध्य प्रदेश सॉरी मणिपुर एंड मिजोरम irrespective of amount of aggregate turnover yes and in case of making interstate supply of taxable goods yes agar goods supply kar rahe ho to whatever your turnover it doesn't matter because section 24 mein compulsory registration chahiye moving ahead to the next one which of the following supply of services are exempt testing of agricultural produce exempt hai because agriculture supply of farm labor bhi agriculture hai and warehousing of agricultural produce bhi so this is also d so this one is a uh, third d Go to the fourth one. Narayan Gol has booked a room at on rent in Sunshine Hotel for the purpose of lodging on tenth of August. GST is not payable by Mr. Narayan Gol. It gives a value of supply for hotel rooms, guys. Up to one thousand rupees. If exemption is, so in this he will get exemption. The rest are more than one thousand. So exemption for him only A is the right answer. Input tax credit is not available in respect of. In which ITC is not available? Let's check. कॉम्पोजिशन स्कीम में अगर आपने कुछ खरीदा है तो उसमें आपने कॉम्पोजिशन स्कीम में आप जीएसटी पे नहीं करते हो चार्ज भी नहीं करते हो तो इसमें क्रेडिट नहीं मिलता है रिमेंबर गाइज कॉम्पोजिशन स्कीम डज नॉट चार्ज जीएसटी टू इट्स कस्टमर्स फ्री सैम्पल्स पे आपको आईटीसी नहीं मिलता है बिकॉज द गवर्नमेंट इज नॉट हैप्पी ऑन फ्री सैम्पल्स दे डोंट गेट एनी जीएसटी एंड पर्सनल कंजम्पन पे ऑल्सो दे डोंट गेट एनी जीएसटी सो आंसर इज डी वन टू एंड थ्री Suhas and Company, a registered person, supplies taxable goods to unregistered persons. It need not issue tax invoice. The value of supply, guys, if less than two hundred, hota hai, there is a section. A uh, section, याद करने की जरूरत नहीं है, but if you can recall, it will be great. Section thirty one three uh, B. If you remember the shortcut, busy persons below two hundred. अगर supply होती है, तो उसपे GST invoice issue करने की जरूरत नहीं है. So answer is C one fifty. Various taxes have been subsumed in GST. GST has replaced a lot of taxes, but basic customs duty replaced नहीं किए. 
लॉटरीज के टैक्स रिप्लेस कर दिए हैं सो दिस कुड बी द आंसर विच टैक्सेस हैव बीन सब्ज्यूम्ड इन जीएसटी ऑल राइट सॉरी ये है विच टैक्सेस हैव बीन सब्ज्यूम्ड लॉटरी के टैक्स सब्ज्यूम हो चुके हैं एनवायरमेंट और बेसिक कस्टम ड्यूटी नहीं हुए सो आंसर इज ओनली ए दैट इज टू ये वाले सब्ज्यूम हो चुके हैं दैट इज अवेंथ एमसीक्यू सर्विसेज बाय वे ऑफ ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ डैश बाय रेल फ्रॉम चेन्नई टू गुजरात इज एग्जाम गाइज रेलवे ट्रांसपोर्ट गुड्स ट्रांसपोर्ट सर्विसेज में देखा था रेल ट्रांसपोर्ट में रेल डॉक्टर नैम इज एग्जाम तो ये क्या है इस शॉर्टकट के लिए यू शुड बी हैव सीन माय वीडियोस और दिस इज अ शॉर्टकट फॉर रेल डॉक्टर नैम रेलवे डिफेंस रिलीफ न्यूज पेपर एग्रीकल्चर प्रोड्यूस मैन्योर एंड सम मिल्क फूड ग्रेन एक्सेट्रा पल्सिस एग्जाम है मिलिट्री इक्विपमेंट एग्जाम है जैगरी भी एग्जाम है बिकॉज एग्रीकल्चर प्रोड्यूस है जैगरी सो आंसर इज थ्री दैट इज सॉरी आंसर इज थ्री एंड फोर Which of the following is exempt? Acha, they asked for exempt. So one is exempt, two is exempt, one and two A is the right answer. All right. Moving ahead, services by warehousing is exempt. Guys, jaggery is not agricultural produce, and electrical equipment is also not agricultural produce, or it's not in this list, and hence taxable. Hai. Warehousing is for exempt, guys. Warehousing agricultural produce is exempt. Hai. Plus some products like tea, coffee is for exempt. Hai. So tea is exempt, jaggery is exempt, beetle leaves is exempt. कैशुनट्स के लिए भी एग्जाम बट ये प्रोसेस कैशुनट्स है इसके लिए एग्जाम नहीं है सो आंसर इज वन टू एंड थ्री योर इज द राइट आंसर आंसर इज डी वन टू एंड थ्री जीएसटी इज नॉट पेबल बाय रेसिपेंट मतलब कौन सी चीज आरसीएम में नहीं है सर्विसेज प्रोवाइडेड बाय बेयर स्पॉन्सरशिप टू अ कंपनी ये आरसीएम में है बिकॉज रेसिपेंट इज अ कंपनी और अ पार्टनरशिप फॉर्म डायरेक्टर टू अ पर्सन ये आर में नहीं दिखा है ये एफ में होगा द पोस्ट ये भी एफ सी एम में गाइज रिमेम्बर पैट पोस्टल सर्विस ऑलवेज एफ सी and recovery agent to a bank ye rcm mein hai so answer is 2 and 3 2 and 3 this is the right answer they are not under rcm that is the 10th question we are 10% above in all the gst because total uh, mcqs hai 85 usme se 10 ho chuke hain mr x is a tax casual taxable person not involved in making taxable supplies of notified handicraft goods or predominantly handmade notified products guys ctp ko compulsory registration leni padti hai Yes, irrespective of threshold, answer is D. Yes, and question number eleven, answer is D. The registration certificate granted to a non-resident taxable person, NRTP, co guys, A ninety was a shortcut period applied for a maximum ninety days. उसके लिए मिलता है registration. Answer is C ninety. Uh, which of the following activities shall be treated neither as supply of nor supply of goods? मतलब कौन सा schedule three या non-taxable में है? Permanent transfer of business assets. ये तो supply है. टेम्परेरी ट्रांसफर ऑफ इंटेलेक्चुअल प्रॉपर्टी ये भी सप्लाई ऑफ सर्विस है ट्रांसपोर्टेशन ऑफ डिसीज ये गाइस डिसीज का ट्रांसपोर्ट नहीं आता है किसी में भी एंड एम्प्लॉयर एम्प्लॉय के भी नहीं आता है सो आंसर इज थ्री एंड फोर आंसर इज डी बैलेंस इन द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक क्रेडिट लेजो गाइस क्रेडिट आप यूज कर सकते हो सिर्फ टैक्स पे करने के लिए नो इंटरेस्ट नो पेनल्टी नो लेट फीस इनफैक्ट टैक्स भी कौन सा वाला है ओनली एफ सी एम टैक्स सो आंसर इज ए फोर्टीन क्वेश्चन How the aggregate turnover is calculated, guys? Aggregate turnover is calculated based on PAN. मतलब सारे entities का under the same PAN you have to calculate everything outward except IIGN. No inward, no interest, no GST, and no non-taxable Schedule Three for one for the entire PAN. Answer is this one. Aggregate value of all taxable supplies, exempt, export, and interstate supplies of a person having same PAN, excluding value of inward supplies, computed on all India basis, excluding taxes if any under GST. Answer is D. एप्लीकेशन को कैंसिलेशन ऑफ जीएसटी रजिस्ट्रेशन इन द मंथ ऑफ मार्च ड्यू टू क्लोजर ऑफ द बिजनेस सेक्शन ट्वेंटी नाइन में बोलते हैं कैंसिलेशन इट्स एप्लीकेशन को कैंसिलेशन वॉज अप्रूव ऑन फोर्थ सेप्टेम्बर द प्रॉपर ऑफिसर पास एन ऑर्डर ऑन फोर्टीन सेप्टेम्बर फाइनल रिटर्न फाइल करना पड़ता है अंडर अ सेक्शन कॉल सेक्शन फोर्टी फाइव यू डोट रिमेबर सेक्शन नो प्रॉब्लम बट फॉर सम पीपल आई एम रिपीटिंग द सेक्शन ये फाइनल रिटर्न आपको थर्टी डेज में फाइल करना पड़ता सॉरी थ्री मंथ्स में फाइल करना पड़ता है फ्रॉम अ लेटर ऑफ दिस फॉलोइंग डेट्स सो फोर्टीन सेप्टेम्बर से थ्री मंथ दैट इज फोर्टीन डिसंबर तक आपको फाइल करना पड़ता है आंसर इज डी Zylo has three branches: Jalandhar, Amritsar, and Ludhiana, all in the state of Punjab. Amritsar and Ludhiana are engaged in supply of garments. Jalandhar engaged in supply of shoes. 
So guys, you have an option either all together or all separate. Xylo can obtain single registration. Yes, declaring one as PPOB and the others as OPOB. Can obtain separate registrations for each of the three branches, but you beach all option. Nahi kar sakte ho. You cannot have two together and one as separate. So either one or two, so answer is C. Next, guys, is the 19th. What is the validity of registration? Guys, government gets money when you register, and hence iska koi registration ka validity nahi hota. Jab tak tum cancel nahi karoge, tab tak valid hai ye. Question number 19th. 20th. Within how many days an application for revocation of cancellation can be made provided no extension is given as revocation ke liye apply kar sakte ho within 30 days from the date of service of cancellation order. So answer is D. Can a registered person under composition scheme collect GST? Guys, no. Because government says wo 1, 5 and 1 percent aapko khud ko aapke pocket mein se banna padega. So answer is a one and simple no. 22nd. In case of GTA services, tax is to be paid under forward charge. Yes, GTA guys have an option of forward charge. Chin mein, GTA will pay the GST to the government. The good part is that they can take ITC, but the bad part is rate increases to 12%. So GST is payable at 12%. 23rd, which of the following services are not exempt? Yoga camp by charity is exempt. Business correspondent to a rural branch is exempt. Cord blood bank is exempt. So hence, commentator to a recognized sporting body, guys, just advising everyone who's on the ground, players, umpires, referees, team um, managers and coaches, Inca services to RSB is exempt. This one is taxable. So answer is this D for 23rd. Which of the following activity is a supply of service, transfer of right and goods, undivided share in goods without title is service. This is a title, transfer of title is not service. Transfer of title at a future date is also goods. So right now one, only one, yes, only one is the right answer. Rama has provided the following information in the month of September. Calculate aggregate turnover. It's everything except IIGN. Interstate outward supply, yes. Outward supply, yes. Export supply, yes. Payment made, that means purchase or inward supply, no. So answer is 23 lakhs. Answer is C, 23 lakhs. P Limited has a registered office under the Companies Act in the state of Maharashtra from where it ordinarily carries out business of taxable goods. It has a warehouse in the state of Telangana for storing such goods. What will be the place of business of P Limited? There are two places of business only because every state you require registration unless it's supplying non-taxable goods. So both A and B is the right answer. Exempt day supply has three ends, guys. Nil rate, non-taxable as also notification. So, section 11 mein notification aata hai. So, answer is 1, 2 and 3 all are exempt supply. Which of the following services are exempt? Services uh, by way of performance and classical art form of painting culture. No, only TDC, theater, dance and concerts. So, this is not exempt. Uh, modern art forms, not exempt. Exceeding 1.5 lakhs, not exempt. Guys, it should be only in case of music, dance, theater up to 1.5 lakhs. So this one is exempt. Remember the three conditions for exemption by performance by an artist. Services by way of admission to Dash is not exempt. Museum, National Park, Tiger Reserve, sorry, exempt. Hai. Recognized sporting event be exempted, but up to 500 only. So 600. So answer is D. This is not exempt. Discount given after the supply has been affected is deducted. From the value of supply, I suppose supply discount only if it's tick. As per agreement, link to the invoices and proportional ITC to be reversed. So answer is 1, 2 and 3. In which of the following situation, recipient needs to add ITC available by him to his output tax liability. You have ITC, then why add it? Remember guys, you need to pay within 180 days. If you don't pay within 180 days, then you'll have to reverse it. So answer is this. Answer is C. The rule is rule 37. Which of the following statements is correct or are correct? Revocation of cancellation under one act shall be deemed to be revocation of cancellation under under act. Absolutely right. Cancellation or registration under one act shall be cancellation under the absolutely right. Shall not be deemed to be cancellation wrong. Shall not be deemed to be wrong. So answer is one and two. A is the right answer. If the goods are received in installments, then ITC on the last lot only. That's the right answer. Answer is B. For banking companies, which have inputs and input services, partly for taxable and partly for exempt, they have two rules, guys. Either they can take 42, 43, that rule, 
or they can take BD 50% if you remember. So this one or this one. So okay, banking companies can choose. So answer is C. 35. A supplier takes the deduction of depreciation on the GST component of the capital goods. Means you bought a tempo on which you paid some GST and you've taken in the balance sheet or you capitalize even the GST. Then can you take ITC? No, zero. Not avail ITC. Answer is B. 36. Warehousing services exempt for rice. Minor forest produce, jaggery, coffee, yes. Although they might not be agricultural produce, but the warehousing has been made specifically exempt. So A is the right answer. Which of the following service received in the course of furtherance of business without consideration, guys? That means they are looking at 71C. Import of services from his son well settled. Is it related person? Yes. So this one it is. And yes, are business ke course mein. So 71C is fulfilled. You just have to see schedule one. Import from his brother well settled. He's not a related person, so this is not supply. Brother wholly dependent is related person, and hence this is a supply. Import of services from his daughter is always related person. So one, three, and four are supplies. Very, very good question, guys. This one, 37th one. Aage chalte hain, 38th question. Which of the following person engaged in making intrastate supplies from Uttar Pradesh is not eligible for composition levy? मतलब आप सिर्फ यूपी में ही कर रहे हो सप्लाई फिर भी कंपटीशन स्कीम क्यों नहीं ले पा रहे हो रेस्टोरेंट सर्विस ले सकते हो रेस्टोरेंट सर्विस एंड इंटरेस्ट भी ले सकते हो ट्रेडिंग एंड आइसक्रीम भी ले सकते हो मैन्युफैक्चरिंग आइसक्रीम नहीं ले सकते हो यू रिमेंबर एंड सप्लाइंग सर्विस सर्विस सॉरी इज नॉट टेन वन एंड टेन टू इट इज टेन टू ए सो आंसर इज डी फॉर द थर्टी एट वन थर्टी नाइन द टाइम ऑफ सप्लाई सर्विस इन केस ऑफ रिवर्स चार्ज मैकेजम गाइज रिवर्स चार्ज में इफ यू रिमेंबर टाइम ऑफ सप्लाई सेक्शन थर्टीन रिवर्स चार्ज थ्री रेसिपिन पेज In 31 entirely, R goes out. This becomes 61. Date on which payment is entered in books of accounts or bank account, or date immediately following 60 days. So in three days earlier, this is the right answer. Let's go to the next one. Which of the following services does not fall fall under RCM? Which one RCM is not? Arbitrary tribunal to business entity is RCM. Sponsor services to a partnership located in Jammu and Kashmir is RCM. Sponsor services to a body corporate is RCM. And renting of car to other than body corporate guys, it should be C. The person supplying should not be a C, but the person who's receiving should be a C. So this is not under RCM. This is the right answer. Which of the following services are exempt under GST? Admission to a surface where entry cost 550 is not exempt. Interest charge on credit card is not exempt. Services by an organized and respect of business exhibition in India is not exempt. Abroad is exempt and services by foreign diplomatic mission. This one is definitely exempt. ITC on motor vehicles used for making dash is allowed. Transportation of goods is allowed. Remember VAM, GST please. Taxable supplies of transportation of passengers like Ubers etc. is allowed. It is confusing. Hai. This seems like transportation of passengers but this is like renting etc. for passengers. And training, these three are allowed. So all the three are allowed, yes. Which of the following persons required to obtain compulsory registration? Tax on which is paid by the recipient? No. Interstate taxable supply of services up to 20 lakh? No. Making supply of services on e-commerce operator? No. Supplying goods on behalf of both as an agent? Definitely yes, if the principal is taxable. A non resident is required to apply for registration five days in advance, right? So answer is C. Registration certificate granted to a casual taxable person is valid for a90 period applied for or 90 days, whichever is earlier. Answer is C. In case of taxable supply of services by a non-banking finance company, invoice shall be issued within, they have 45 days, guys, to issue invoice. Generally, me, a CA has 30 days. Whether goods being sent or taken on approval for sale or return basis, the invoice shall be issued whenever the supply is confirmed or maximum six months before at the time of supply or six months, whichever is earlier. Invoice shall be prepared in dash in case of goods, triplicate because one original copy for the consumer, uh, for the recipient, a duplicate for the supplier and triplicate, sorry, duplicate for the transporter and triplicate for yourself and services because there's no transporter, it is duplicate. Very simple question. Which of the following shall be discharged first while discharging a liability? Guys, you know the prior period has to be discharged first. So this is the answer. The due date for filing the final return, guys. Final return means the last return has to be filed within three months of the later of date of cancellation or date of order of cancellation, whichever is later. Which of the following? Congratulations, guys. Half a century done. 50 questions done. 
which of the following statements is true under gst law grandparents are never considered as late person wrong grandparents are always considered wrong grandparents are considered if only if they are wholly dependent absolutely right c is the right answer here we go 54 fifth question done Moving to the 52nd question, alcoholic liquor for human consumption, GST is Jain. So only excise duty and central sales tax will apply. A and B, GST will not apply. So both A and B. Mr. A has a tax invoice. Date of issue is 20th Jan 21 of services received by him. Its input tax credit is lost if ITC is not availed on or before. As for a particular year, the year is 2021 in this case. You need to take ITC either in that year or maximum next year you can take by 30th November or annual return filing date. This date was earlier different. It was earlier 20th October, but now they've changed it to 30th November or annual return filing date, whichever is later. So answer, although this was the right answer, I've changed it to 30th November or annual return filing date of the next year. Input tax credit shall not be available in respect of personal consumption, no ITC. Membership of a club, no ITC. Travel benefits as per company's internal policy, no ITC. So in all the three cases, no ITC. Which of the following is not good, guys? Good is everything except IMS. So 10 paise coin, is it money? No, it has a value of 100 rupees. So it is basically goods, which is not considered as goods. Let's see. Unless shares is security, so not goods. Lottery tickets are good. So only two is the right answer. These are not goods. Everything else is goods. Mr. Rama Jeweler registered in Mumbai wants to sell his jewelry in a trade exhibition. Which of the following statements is false? Which is false. Will he have to get registration in Delhi as a CTP? Yes. Will he have to pay advanced tax? Yes. Will he have to have a place of business in Delhi? No. Will he have to file GSTR 1, GSTR 3? Yes. So only C is the wrong answer, which is the right answer because they've asked for the wrong answer. Which of the following is treated as exempt supply? Exempt supply is three things. But here, sale of liquor is exempt. Hai? Yes. Healthcare services by hospital is exempt. Hai? Yes. Electricity is exempt. Hai? Yes. Answer is 1, 2, and 3. Answer is D. Which of the following is a recognized system of medicine? Remember Hunase, guys. Hunase is a shortcut. Allopathy is included. Yunani is included. Siddhi is included. Yes, all three of them are the right answer. Which of the following is exempt on the healthcare services? Chemist shop, not exempt. Food supply to inpatients, exempt. Food supply to outpatients, not exempt. Advertisement services, not exempt. Answer is B. This one is exempt. In case of supply of goods, file act and following information is provided. What is time of supply of goods? With taxes payable under forward charge, I demand payment. Advance payment is to be ignored. Invoice date, 15th April. Due date of invoice, 25th April. Whichever is earlier, 15th April is the right answer. Sham Limited, located in Mumbai, is receiving legal services from a lawyer, Mr. Gyan, registered under GST. The aggregate turnover of Sham last year is 42 lakhs. That means is Sham a big business entity? Yes. A lawyer providing to a big business entity is under RCM. Pe, the question is all about time of supply. For RCM, guys, the time of supply is recipient pays in 31 entirely. Remove R, this becomes 61. Payment debited in bank account 5th May. In books of accounts 1st May. So payment date is 1st May. Invoice 15th April. Ka hai. On 15th April to 15th May is 30 days. 15th May to 15th June is 31. 15th June is or 1st May, guys, which is earlier, 1st May is the right answer. So, answer is your 1st May. Which of the following is not eligible for obtaining for opting for composition scheme under 10.1 and 10.2? Selling garments, 78 lakhs, available. The restaurant, 98 lakhs, okay. Service company, sorry, not okay. Grocery, 95 lakhs, okay. So, this is the right answer. They are not opting for composition scheme. Assuming that all the activities given below are undertaken for a consideration, state which of the following is not a supply. Renting a commercial office, taxable. Employee agreeing to not work for the competitor, non-compete, taxable. Repairing a mobile phone, taxable. Employer to employee in the course of employment, not taxable. Moving ahead, during the month of May, Z sold goods for 2,55 at 18% GST. Owing to some defects, sorry, some goods came back, 40,000 in the same month. So, 2,55 minus 40,000 is 2,15 on that 18% GST, that is 38,700 will be paid or payable by Z Limited because supply leads to liability 38,700. CN Company, registered supply in Delhi, opted for composition levy under section 10.1.10.2. It sold goods. So, guys, you are in the composition scheme. Once you are in the composition scheme, you will not charge GST. You can't take ITC. 
on the supply you have to pay 151%. It sold goods in the fourth quarter of 15 lakhs exclusive of GST. The applicable GST rate is 12% but does not matter. You cannot charge GST. It purchased some goods where they pay GST but you can't even take credit. All this is given only to confuse you. The GST liability is basically 15 lakh into 1%. Divide by 2 because half is CGST, half is SGST. This is the right answer. Everything else is given only to confuse you. Moving ahead, guys. Mr. Raghu avails services of Mr. Raja, a chartered accountant. So, Raghu is availing services of Raja. Uh, so, with, on which of them is he eligible to take ITC? So, this is Raghu. He is taking services from a CA. Audit of financial accounts for business purpose. So, can take. Tax audit annual accounts. Can take. Income tax return of his wife can't take because it's personal purposes. So 65,000 is the value of supply into 18% GST rate because guys, this is value of supply. This is not GST. So 11,700 it can take credit of. So the accountant of Raghu booked the entire expense of 70,000 plus GST in the books of account, which is not right. But anyways, they're asking us for eligible ITC, eligible ITC 11,700. TT Private Limited registered in Rajasthan furnished the following information. The applicable GST, uh, GST liability we have in cash. Guys, you know this kind of sum. We have to make an ITC whereby any purchase, any purchase will lead to IC or S. We have to make a liability ledger whereby any supply will lead to IC and S. And then we'll have to pay and find out the right answer. This you can do on your own. Pradeep Traders registered in Haryana sold goods interstate for 2 lakh 5 to Balram Private Limited registered in Uttar Pradesh. Haryana to Uttar Pradesh, so this is IGST. 5% is leviable on the sale of goods. As for the terms of contract, Pradeep has to deliver the goods at the factory of Balram. Pradeep traders charge the freight of 2,500. So 5, 2,5 is the value of goods. 2,400 is the G on the freight. But guys, are they both composite supply? Yes, they're naturally bundled and there is a principal supply. And hence, in this case, uh, GST is leviable at 12% of freight or 5% on goods. The principal supply rate will be applicable. So 2 lakh 5 plus 2400 into 5% is 10,370. Going to the next one. Prem and Sons have taken GST registration on 1st Jan, but failed to furnish the GST returns for the next six months. Into this proper officer cancelled the registration on 25th July and served the order on 31st July. Now Prem and Son wants to revoke so basically within 30 days from the later, that is 31st July, within 30 days, that is 30th August, you need to make an application. XX registered in Delhi. Very important and very good question, guys. Purchase books from PC traders. So this is PC and this is XX and they are purchasing some goods or some books from PC traders. Books are exempt, so this supply is exempt. XX arranged the transport of these books. That means there's a separate supply. Excess has taken the supply of a GTA for transport of these books and charged a freight of 9,000 has been charged for the same. GST is payable at 5%. That means under RCM, which of the following statement is correct. So this is exempt, no GST on this, but this on 9,000, they have to pay GST. 9,000 into 5%, 450 is payable by excess on reverse charge. Absolutely right. Guys, what if this was together? Then in that case, exempt, there will be no GST on this because it is totally a naturally bundled, but this is separately taken by excess and hence it is not a natural bundle. I hope this is clear. Moving on to the next one now. 71st question, guys. Sahil is a resident of Delhi, having a residential property in Vasan Vihar. Residential is the main word which has been given on rent. Any rent given or residence is exempt. As there's an amendment here where if it's given to a registered person for other than residential use, then it is taxable. So, is exempt. Determine whether Sahil is liable to pay GST. No, he is not liable to pay any GST. Goods includes what, guys? Goods includes everything except IMS. So, money is not a part of goods. Securities is not. Growing crops are. Actionable claims are. Yes, 3 and 4 is the right answer. They are not goods. Zed of Himachal Pradesh starts a new business and makes the following supplies in the first month. Guys, intrastate supply of taxable goods, 17 lakh. Supply of exempted goods, 1 lakh. Interstate supply of taxable goods, 1 lakh. As if you are making interstate supply, then you need to be compulsory registered. And hence, Mr. Z is liable to obtain registration as he makes interstate supply of goods. Answer is C. Moving to the next one. Guys, in the next case, 74th, 
determine which of the following independent cases will be deemed as supply even if made without consideration section 71c ko dekhenge guys yahan par ab associate transferred stock to its mumbai branch ye taxable as supply hai uh, mr raghuveer dealer vehicle conditioners permanently transfers motor vehicle free of cost itc on the motor vehicle is blocked so agar itc nahi liya hai to then this is not a supply miss riddhi an employee received gift from an employer up to 21000 guys 50000 is not a problem so only first wala is a supply pz wise engage in manufacturing of motor car the company paid following amounts that means they purchased these services let's see kis pe itc milega general insurance taken on cars yes because they are in the same line of business of cars buses with a seating capacity of 2300 23 that is more just one second with a that is basically more than 30, 15 passengers so this is also taxable life and health insurance under statutory obligation this is also available itc outdoor catering is not available this is blocked under 175p food and beverage so if you total it up 1 lakh okay they have asked which is ineligible ineligible is 3 lakh 50 that is the right answer please check because wrong answer bhi diya jata hai kabhi kabhi options bhi last 10 guys which of the following statements are correct if the supplier has erroneously declared a value which is more Guys, invoice में अगर more value है, so you have to cut it. So credit note issue कर सकते हैं. Yes, this is correct. But we have to find out the incorrect one. If the supplier declared some special discount later on, then he cannot issue credit note. Absolutely right. If the quantity received by the recipient is more, but invoice में मतलब कम है, तो we have to increase it. Debit note, yes. And there is no time limit to declare details or debit note in the return. Absolutely, there is a time limit. Same section sixteen four wala. After the end of the year. 30th November or annual return filing date, whichever is earlier. So this one, guys, ये वाला. For November 22, guys, it is still the same. That is 30th, uh, 20th October or annual return filing date. But for May students, it has changed. So this is the wrong answer, and this is the answer for 76. Miss Pearl is a classical singer. She wants to organize a classical singing function. So she booked an auditorium on 10th of August. Guys, time of supply, I have to find out. This is supply of service IP or PP. If invoice is issued on time or late, guys, there are two payments. She paid five thousand advance, and then later she paid fifteen thousand. Guys, the event was held on tenth October. The uh, invoice is issued on twenty fifth November. That is after thirty days, so it is late. So we'll look at P for five thousand advance payment. Payment date is tenth August. Provision date is tenth October, whichever is earlier, tenth August for five thousand. And for the second payment, the payment date is thirtieth November or tenth October, which is earlier tenth October for the balance. So C is the right answer. ABC generate a EVA bill for overdimensional cargo, hundred kilometers, twenty kilometers a day. So hundred divided by twenty is five days. From twelfth Feb, that day will not include thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth. So seventeenth night, guys, that is eighteenth morning. That is the time of supply car ending validity. Exam supply includes nil. Yeah, this is already done. This is a repeat question, guys. Even ICM has some mistake. हो जाते हैं कभी-कभी repeat question दे दिया है. Ram an individual based in Gujarat is an employment and earning ten lakh as salary. Guys, salary is not in GST. It is in Schedule Three. He is also providing consultancy services to different organizations on growth and expansion of business. His turnover from such services twelve lakh. Determine whether Ram is liable for taking registration. Guys, registration तब होगा Gujarat में and for service provider when it's more than twenty lakh. Aggregate turnover, but your aggregate turnover is only twelve lakh. Why did we not take ten lakh? Because aggregate turnover does not include I I G N non taxable schedule three does not include. So hence, no as a service is less than twenty lakh. Answer is C. Last five. Harish Trading Company is a dealer of seeds. Uh, he is about to cross the threshold limit of registration. Seeds exempt here, but chemical fertilizers taxable. He wants to offer ten one and ten two. Can he opt, guys? Yes, you can opt as long as you are trim three RM. Is he a trim? Yes, he is a trader. Next, is he doing casually needing ice cream, studying income tax online? That means these six things he cannot do online. He is not doing interstate. He is not doing service. He is not doing um, ice cream, etc. He is not manufacturing. Non taxable. He is not doing. While notification and nil is allowed. Yes. So hence. Yes, he can. You being a chartered accountant, advise whether he can do so. Yes, since aggregate turnover is less than one point five crore. Ash and Company registered in Delhi is a manufacturer of hardware items. He purchased a machine for fifty nine thousand, nine thousand being the GST, on first June. 
then guys he sold it on 1st of uh, january uh, basically within 60 months if you sell then you have to do a or b whichever is earlier a is whatever you're selling it at on that gst that is 7200 and b says uh, whatever time you used how many ever quarters five percent per quarter we will give you rest we'll have to re reduce so june 20 to jan or december 2021 how many quarters guys the entire 2021 year which has four quarters and 2020 We'll take three quarters, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. So basically seven quarters into 5% is 35% if I remove 65% I'll have to reverse of 9,000, 9,000 into 65% is 5,850. Whichever is higher, 7,200 has to be reversed. PK traders engage in manufacturing of taxable as an exempt goods, purchase the machinery for 7,70. It capitalizes the full amount. If you capitalize the full amount, including GST, sorry, no ITC can be given on that capital good. Raheem wants to start a new business of trading in footwear in Meghalaya. In order to expand business, he wants to sell such goods on e-commerce operators. Sorry, you will have to get compulsory registration because guys are selling on e-commerce platform goods. Same thing for services, no compulsory registration, up to 20 lakhs. While conducting the GST of audit of Vishwas Bank, it discovered that bank has not charged GST on certain supplies, which are these supplies which are taxable. Discounting of bills, not taxable. Interest on loans, not taxable. Interest on credit cards, taxable. And sale of foreign currency is not taxable. So answer is C. And with that, guys, we complete all the individual MCQs. Now we'll move on to the next one. That is uh, basically the next case-based scenarios. All right, guys, starting the second leg of this MCQ uh, video. Uh, this one is based on case studies. Guys, case studies, kya hoti hai? Ek chota sa paragraph diya jayega, ek bande ke baare mein, jise Saurabh Muttha ke baare mein, and usne registration li hai, kuch purchase kiya hai, kuch supply kiya hai, uske upar registration ke upar kuch questions honge, wo MCQ format mein diya jayenge. I feel it's very, very simple, because if your concepts are right, then your answers aapko easily mil jayenge. Also, guys, this may presentation of a problem in your two to marks are given just like that if you get a right answer. So, hopefully, we will get the right answers. So, here we go. I'm starting off this MCQ booklet. Here is the booklet. Um, there are about 11, no, 15 or 17 case studies. We'll do all of them back to back. Here we go. Uh, first MCQ, se charu karte hai, first case study. Se. So, I've also highlighted the one which I think are slightly important, and you could do them again. Let's take the first one. Guys, here there is a person called uh, Pasupati who is a registered taxpayer under GST. is engaged in trading of various types of consumer goods. His turnover in the preceding financial year was below the threshold limit liable for registration. But now he registered. Hai. Yes, this is Pasupati. During the month of April, in the current year, he availed the following services. So these are all purchases. GTA services, GST 5%. So this is taxable under RCM. Renting of go-down from local municipality, that is renting from government. So this is also taxable under RCM. Legal services availed from a firm of advocates. This is not taxable under RCM because, guys, you were not a big business entity last year. Tabi, in case of legal services, taxable hota hai. So these two, 35 and 40, this is taxable under RCM. Moving ahead. He sold a car used for personal purposes for 1 lakh. Uh, personal assets sold, no problem. He disposed of his old computers for 60,000, which no ITC was claimed. So on this also, there is no problem. He also gave away stock of old consumer goods amounting to 75,000 on which he had claimed ITC to an office home. Is this, even if you give it free as per 71C and then read as per Schedule 1, this is a business asset which there is a permanent transfer and on which you've taken ITC. So this will be a supply. He received goods on 1st May that are liable to tax under reverse charge. Invoice was issued on 5th May. So a time of supply are question, hai, guys. Uh, goods here. So, section 12, reverse charge for so 3, recipient pays in 31 entirely. Uh, he received the goods on 1st May. Invoice issued on 5th May. So, 31 days from 5th May is basically 5th June. Payment was made on 6th and 7th, so 6th June. So, whichever is earlier, 1st May is the earliest. So, the time of supply will be 1st May. I'm just preempting the question. I feel these are questions will so I'm just preempting it. Of course, I also know the case study, so I know that these will be asked. But you can guess, guys. He paid repair expenses for truck used for transportation. He or purchases hai. GST component 13,000. Is pe mil jayega ITC because truck pe mil jata hai ITC. 
केटरिंग सर्विसेज पे नहीं मिलता है एंड फर्स्ट लॉट पे नहीं मिलता है ओनली फाइनल लॉट पे सो ओनली थर्टीन थाउजेंड पे उसको आईटीसी मिलेगा लेट चेक द आंसर्स गाइस हियर डिटरमाइन द वैल्यू ऑफ सर्विसेज जो टैक्सेबल अंडर रिवर्स चार्ज मेकेनिज्म ओनली टू ऑफ देम टोटल अप टू सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड दिस वॉज द राइट आंसर इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ सेल ऑफ पर्सनल कार एंड डिस्पोजल ऑफ कंप्यूटर एंड स्टॉक ऑफ गुड्स वैल्यू ऑफ सप्लाई विल बी ओनली सेवेंटी फाइव थाउजेंड मुझे लास्ट वाला था परमानेंट ट्रांसफर टाइम ऑफ सप्लाई इन दिस केस विल बी फर्स्ट मे बिकॉज रेसिपेंट पेज इन थर्टी वन एंटायरली दैट वॉज अ शॉर्ट कट फॉर टाइम ऑफ सप्लाई ऑफ गुड्स कंप्यूट द अमाउंट ऑफ आई टी सी दैट कैन बी क्लेम्ड ओनली थर्टीन थाउजेंड कैन बी क्लेम्ड गाइज ऐसे आपको आंसर्स लिखने पड़ेंगे टिकमा करने पड़ेंगे एंड दिस वॉज द फर्स्ट एम सी क्यू एक केस दिया जाएगा उसके ऊपर क्वेश्चन आएंगे दिस इज द फर्स्ट केस बेस्ड एम सी क्यू लेट्स मूव टू द सेकेंड वन मिसिस विटल एंड कंपनी आर रजिस्टर्ड सप्लायर अंडर जी एस टी गाइज इफ यूर वॉचिंग दिस ऑन यूट्यूब डी टी का भी एम सी क्यू बुकलेट ऐसे ही आल अपलोडेड ऑन यूट्यूब सो प्लीज फॉलो ऑल्सो इफ यू नीड एनी फास्ट ट्रैक कोर्सेज एनी मैराथन देर ऑल अपलोडेड अंडर द सी ए इंटर मे ट्वेंटी थ्री प्ले लिस्ट इफ यूर वॉचिंग दिस फॉर मे ट्वेंटी टू ऑल्सो नो प्रॉब्लम दिस अपलाइज ऑल्सो टू मे ट्वेंटी टू अगर कोई चेंजेस होगा तो आई विल कीप टेलिंग यू मेसर्स विटल एंड कंपनी आर रजिस्टर्ड सप्लायर एंड जी एस टी सीलिंग एंड सप्लाई ऑफ टैक्सीबल गुड्स इन द स्टेट ऑफ कर्नाटक The firm had opted for composition scheme from April month last of last financial year. Its turnover crossed one point five crores this ninth of May. So basically, it's opted out of composition scheme. You need to write a letter to the government within thirty days of that. Vital and company. So ninth of May, say within thirty days. That is ninth of May. So eighth of June. You need to tell the government that I'm out of the scheme. Give them a list of stock of goods, etc. So now they are happy. They can give you uh, ITC as well. Vital and Company removed goods on 10 June for delivery to Surian Company on sale or return. Sale or return may basically the time of supply or maximum six months. But Suri accepted the goods on 15 December, guys. 10 June, say if you count July, August, September, October, November, December, 10th December till six months khatam ho jate hain. So tab tak invoice issue ho jana chahiye tha. The firm had paid GST, that means purchases during the month of August. So this is Vital and Company. Nee zada purchases. इनपुट सर्विस इंटेंडेड फॉर पर्सनल यूज इस पर आई टी सी नहीं मिलता है परचेज ऑफ मोटर मोटर व्हीकल टू व्हीलर इस पर भी आई टी सी नहीं मिलता है परचेज ऑफ कंप्यूटर नाइनटीन थाउजेंड बट जी एस टी पोर्शन वॉज क्लेम एप्रीसिएशन सो इस पर भी आई टी सी नहीं मिलेगा इसमें एक मिस्टेक एग्जाम में आई सी आई ने आंसर में नाइनटीन थाउजेंड डाल दिया है बट दैट इज रॉन्ग सो आपको आई टी सी कितना मिलेगा जीरो During May, Vital and Company had reversed ITC of ten thousand for not making payment to vendors within the time prescribed under CGST Act. This pending payment was cleared in the month of August. So, if in August we have paid, then you will get ITC. Will you get ITC? Yes, you will get ITC. You will get ITC. Out of the purchases made in ITC available during the earlier months, the following information is made available as on September. That is, September me three suppliers were there. Us me say you have not paid the due date, paid the payment since so many days. 165 is okay, 99 is okay, but 199 is not okay. So this 15,000 has to be reversed, along with 18% interest. And whenever you pay, can you recredit the uh, GST? Yes, but interest will go away. Vital and Company received accounting services from Raghu and Company and Associate Enterprise located in Sri Lanka. This is Bahar se services. So Vital and Company has to pay under RCM. RCM basically section 13.3 recipient pays in 31 entirely. R go out, goes out. This becomes sixty one. But because it is from associate enterprise, even the invoice is not required. Whether it issued, not issued, does not matter. Payment date or entry date, whichever is earlier. Payment was made on thirtieth September. Entry in the books on tenth October. So which is earlier, thirtieth September is the time of supply. Again, guys, I'm just preempting the questions because they are very obvious. All the supplies enter state. All the condition Y T C are fulfilled. Vital and Company needs to furnish a statement uh, on withdrawing for composition scheme within 30 days. So June me, 8th of June tak issue karna padega. In this period, goods sent on sale or return basis, 10 December tak invoice issue kar dena chahiye because six months are expiring then. Amount of eligible ITC uh, that can be available. Sorry, you cannot avail any ITC. Although ICI ke module mein 19,000 mein mistake diya hai. Compute the amount of ITC to be reversed for the month of September. 15,000 ka reverse karna hai for the month of September. Because you've not paid within one eighty days, Rule thirty seven. I hope you understand that. And time of supply and respect to services imported by Vital and Company from its A's. I just made payment date or ah. Uh, here, the answer. We have already seen. Thirtieth September or first October, whichever is earlier. 
So 30th September is the time of supply. That was the second MCQ. Now let's move on to the third one, guys. Back to back, third one. All right, the third case study is of uh, Messrs. Trimbuck and company are LAP registered under GST and engaged in the various types of business activities. Look what they do, the company. It provided GTA services. So, it Trimbuck has provided GTA services provided by the government. Ko, and GST is payable at 5%. So, the government will pay ki under RCM. Or it will be exempt. It will be exempt. Guys, because if the government provides service, it will be exempt. Hoga. The firm provided, in case of GTA, sorry. The firm provided secure direct selling agent services to NBFC. Guys, generally direct selling agent services NBFC ko provide kar, karte ho, to RCM mein taxable. Hota hai. But only the direct selling agent is an individual. Yahan pe ye LLP hai. So ye FCM mein tax hoga. Ye exempt hoga, ye FCM mein tax hoga. Next, the firm also provided gift to employees valuing 50,000. 50,000 takka gift by employer to employee is not a supply of, not of goods, not of services. Timbuk and company lets out his warehouse to Gur Gurunesh, who in turn lets it out for agricultural, for warehousing, for agricultural produce. But Trimbuk, you have not given for agricultural warehouse, you have given on rent, so this will be taxable. The firm also undertakes milling of paddy into rice. Milling of paddy into rice is also taxable because it changes the essential characteristic, if you remember. The firm paid GST with respect to orders served by the GST authority. GST officers had demand kya, kuch galti ho gayi hogi, to GST demand kya. But guys, when you pay this GST, you don't get credit. Nahi milta hai iska. I hope you understand. Iska credit you don't get credit. Especially any GST you pay on your own, credit will get credit. But demanded by the GST officers, you don't get The GST liability of the firm was 20,000 IGST, 10,000 CGST. Here we make a liability ledger, guys. ICNS. 20,000 IGST, 10,000 or 10,000. And credits is ITC, hai, IGST. I, C, and S. I, G, S, T is 8,000. C is 12,000. Or S is 5,000. Ye pay karenge last mein. Let's see what are the options. Choose a correct statement for GTA services. Government is liable to pay GST under reverse charge. No. For direct selling agent, NBFC is liable to pay GST under reverse charge. No. For GTA, Thrimberg and Company is liable to pay GST under forward charge. No. And last is for DSA, Thrimberg and Company is liable to pay GST under forward charge. Yes. So, 3 and 4 actually are the right answers. Isme 3 and 4 are the right answers. This, yes, it is not RCM. It is under FCM. All right. Gift of 50,000 will neither be supply or supply of goods nor supply of services up to 50,000. And guys, ke upar hota hai, entire thing will be supplied. Uh, which of the following statement is correct? Letting out a warehouse to Gruvenesh is exempt? No. Milling of paddy into rice is exempt? No. Though no taxable hai. So answer is 3 and 4. Messrs. Trimbuck and Company is eligible to claim ITC of how much? Uh, nothing, guys. Whatever you pay, demanded by the GST officer, you cannot claim. And how much is to be paid in cash? Check, karte hai, guys. Kitna hoga cash? Um, first, we take 8,000. This is over. So, ye 8,000 pay ho gaya. Bacha, 12,000, we always start with IGST credit and exhaust it. Then, we use CNS. C, C mein 10,000 hi chahiye. So, 10,000, 2,000 baj gaya pe. 10,000 and the bill is paid. Yahan par 5,000 hi hai. So, 5,000 ka bill pay kar diya. So, 5,000 yahan pe bacha hai. This 2,000 I can use here. So, IGST you will have to pay 10,000 and SGST you will have to pay 5,000. So, 10,000 and 5,000 is what you will have to pay. Here we go. 10,000 nil and 5,000 is what you need to pay. This is the fifth or the third MCQ. Next, Chanchal is a doctor who is registered under GST having inpatient facility in a hospital. She availed interior decoration services from a spouse without any consideration. So, 7-1-C mein aata hai. But ye business purpose ke liye hai and related person se hai and hence this will be supplied. She also will IT related services from her sister-in-law without any consideration. Ye supply nahi hai because this is not from a relative. As remember, only to related persons. Both services are for the purpose of her business and profession. Ms. Chanchal provided treatment of various diseases in the hospital. Plastic surgery to enhance beauty of face, taxable hai. Ambulance services exempt hai. Renting of space to medical store, taxable hai. She's also consulted in another hospital and received 40 lakh. That is also exempt because they are in the nature of healthcare services. She provides canteen facility and received 55,000 from inpatient. This is exempt. Uh, 35 and 25 is taxable. That is 60,000 is taxable. 
She filed GSTR 3B for the month of June with some errors. She filed the annual return for the said financial year on 31st October the next year, whereas the due date for final, annual return is 31st December. Uh, so basically, any mistake can be corrected either by 30th November or the annual return filing date, that is 31st October, whichever is earlier. So 31st October, you can correct kar sakte ho. Proper officer cancelled the registration on 31st July. Order was received on 5th August. So final return, you have to file three months. Mein file karna hai. Let's see the questions. Which of the following is correct? She avails service avail from a spouse is deemed supply? Yes. Service avail from sister-in-law is deemed supply? No. No. So 1 and 4 are the right answer. A is the right answer. Moving ahead. Compute the value of taxable supply canteen. Canteen, mein guys, only the first one was taxable. That is, oh, sorry, second and third one, 60,000 was taxable. Here we go, 60,000 was taxable. By which date Miss Chanchal should have applied for revocation? Uh, basically, 30 days from when she got the order, uh, 5th August and 30 days is 4th September. So, 4th September and maximum time permissible for rectification of errors omitted in the monthly return of June is, the answer is really wrong. Of course, the explanation is wrong, but the answer is correct. 31st October of the next year. Because it's either 30th November or annual return filing date, which is basically year 31st October. Those are your questions, guys. Now we move on to case study number 5. All right, this fifth case study is Vaishali and Company, Visali and Company actually, a partnership firm engaged in manufacturing of equipments in the state of Kerala. The firm became liable for registration on 10 July, which kiya hoga, and they are liable to register. It applied for registration on 10th August, so they are very proactive. No, actually, they are not 30 days ke beyond kiya hai, and hence the effective date of registration will be 14th August. That could be one of the questions. The firm receives sponsorship services from Leisure Treat Bay Private Limited. Guys, if a partnership firm is a recipient, then it will be under RCM. It received a consignment from Safe Logistics GTA, which is charged 6%. So, yeah, FCM. Mein. It also receives security services from Prom Security Agency Private Limited. Yeah, this FCM. Mein. Security given by a company, FCM. Mein hota hai. Otherwise, RCM. Mein ho sakta hai. The firm adopted for composition levy and its turnover for the quarter ending September was 14 lakh out of which taxable supply amounted to 10 lakh and exempt supply amounted to 4 lakh. So 10 lakh ke upar, he'll have to pay at the rate of 1% and if it's uh, 0 0.5, 0 point, that means 55,000 5, will be the liability for the quarter ending September. They have to pay by 18th October. The firm made a supply of equipment to an unrelated limited company in the month of October having market value of 12 lakh, wholesale value of 13 lakh and maximum retail price of 14 lakh. The transaction was made at 11 lakh. So, 11 lakh will be the transaction value or the value that you will start with. The firm belatedly paid tax amounting to 40,000 for the quarter ending December on 9th Feb. For the December quarter in the composition scheme, you have to pay by the 18th of Jan. So, 18th of Jan, you will not apply interest. But after that, till 9th November, sorry, till 9th February, you will apply interest. So, 31 minus 19 plus 1. So, 13 days of January plus 9 days of February is the delay, 22 days totally. And the amount is 40,000 into 18% into 22 divided by 365. If you do that, you get 434 rupees. Let's see the questions now of this case study. The effective date of registration is basically 14th August. Among the services available by Vessel Visali, uh, which are taxable under reverse charge, sponsorship services, yes, GTA, no, security, no, so only one. Determine the value of supply equipments, a value is 11 lakh, that is the transaction value finally agreed upon. Compute the tax payable of the firm for the quarter, quarter ending September is 5,000 each. By mistake, Piche Likha is 7,000, but that is 5,000. Compute the interest levyable is 434. Interest can be paid only through the cash ledger. This was your case study number five. I hope you're understanding. Moving on to the next case study, that is case study number six. Guys, doing all these case studies alone is a big task. And hence, do it together watching this video. In this sixth case study, Mandeep is a registered dealer and is in the business of supplying construction material in the state of Assam. He availed architectural services for his business from his friend in London free of cost to 7-1-C. Schedule 1 may dekhna padega. Is it a related person? Nahi, it's from a friend. So, this is not a supply from London. He also will designing services from his brother in London for his personal purposes. So, this is 7-1-B, whether Bahar say services, whether it's for business or not business. Agar 
कंसिडरेशन है तो सप्लाई होगा सो so, ये ब्रदर से जो है वो सप्लाई होगा ही अवेल सर्विसेज फ्रॉम एन एंटिटी इन इंडिया विच अलेबल टैक्स अंडर रिवर्स चार्ज फॉर विच द डेट ऑफ द इन वॉइस सो सर्विसेज है अंडर रिवर्स चार्ज सो रेसिपिन पेज इन थर्टी वन एंटायरली आर गोज आउट दिस बिकम सिक्सटी वन सो इन वॉइस डेट ऑफ फर्स्ट सेप्टेम्बर फर्स्ट अक्टूबर एंड फर्स्ट नवम्बर इज सिक्सटी वन डेज बुक्स ऑफ अकाउंट एंड बैंक अकाउंट में है एटीन एंड फिफ्टीन नवंबर सो फिफ्टीन नवंबर इज अ पेमेंट डेट सो फर्स्ट नवंबर विल बी टाइम ऑफ सप्लाई नेक्स्ट इज टर्न ओवर फॉर द करंट फाइनेंशियल ईयर टैक्सेबल एग्जाम इनवर्ट ये दोनों ऐड करेंगे सो दैट इज सेवेंटी वन लैक इज एग्रीगेट टर्न ओवर ये इंटेंस इज आर प्रोवाइडिंग सर्विस अदर दैन रेस्टोरेंट सर्विसेज ऑल्सो फॉर नेक्स्ट फाइनेंशियल ईयर एंड टू अवेल कॉम्पोजिशन स्कीम सो यू कैन नॉट प्रोवाइड सर्विस अनलेस दे आर मार्जिनल मार्जिन मीन लास्ट ईयर के टर्न ओवर का टेन परसेंट दैट इज सेवन पॉइंट वन लैक और फाइव लैक विच एवर इज हायर सो दिस विल बी हायर लेस डू द क्वेश्चन इन रिस्पेक्ट ऑफ सर्विस इज इम्पोर्ट बाई मंदीप विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज करेक्ट आर्किटेक्ट सर्विस फ्रॉम इज फ्रेंड इज नॉट अ सप्लाई इज अ सप्लाई रॉन्ग डिजाइनिंग सर्विस फ्रॉम अ ब्रदर इज सप्लाई येस आर्किटेक्ट सर्विस फ्रॉम इज फ्रेंड इज नॉट अ सप्लाई येस सो आंसर इज टू एंड थ्री सो योर इज द आंसर सी 6.2 determine the time of supply of services received by mandeep and taxable under reverse charge a uh, answer is 1st november which we already solved above compute the aggregate turnover of mandeep for the given year 71 lakh solved above again mandeep was eligible for composition scheme next year marginal services up to 7.1 lakh or 5 lakh whichever is higher seventh is the next case study miss riya is the case study Moving on to the seventh case study, Riya is a multi-faceted personality. She is registered under GST from April this year. She supplied a package consisting of stapler, calculator, and charger at a single price of three hundred. Obviously, it's a mixed supply, taxable at the highest rate, that is eighteen percent. She wants to offer composition levy. Okay. She received the following payments during the month of May. Payments basically means Riya has supplied something. Supply might lead to liability. One lakh sixty for performing Western music, taxable. Fifty thousand by providing renting of residential dwelling for a boutique taxable, and seventy thousand by way of rent of letting of agri machinery. This is exempt under agricultural services. So two of them are taxable. This is taxable. They are made a supply during June. Details of which are as under basic price is forty five thousand tax collected at source two thousand five hundred, which we don't have to add, and a subsidy of three thousand five hundred from Green Foundation, but was linked for not the supply, but is linked to saving energy, so not to be added. So value of supply is only forty five thousand rupees. Subsidy one was slightly tricky. Please read it again if you want. Miss Ria provides the following information: that is receipt of inward inward supply. Receipt Ria had some inward supplies. Let's see on which she gets ITC. Received invoice of goods GST component thirty thousand, but only three lots were received, so no ITC. Purchased a car one lakh fifty for usage in a driving school, so you can take ITC of one lakh fifty and health insurance. On her own voluntarily seven thousand. There's no ITC, so only one lakh fifty ITC you will get. All right, let's move on to the questions now. What would be the nature of supply? It's a mixed supply, taxable at eighteen percent. This is the right answer. Out of the payments received by Ms. Riya in the month of May, exam supply amounts to. Let's check. Just check. Exam supply is only seventy thousand. Besides that, was taxable, so seventy thousand. Compute the value of supply under section fifteen. Only forty five thousand. Nothing to be added. No tax and no subsidy. Compute the amount of ITC that can be claimed by Miss Ria. ITC of only one lakh fifty, as discussed above, can be claimed. This is the seventh MCQ or case study. Let's move on to the eighth one now. Let's move to the eighth one. Kanki Consultants is a partnership firm registered in Delhi as a regular taxpayer and does the following services during the year: security services two crore to registered business entities. Guys, security services can be under RCM also. can be under fcm also it's not a company it's giving it to business entities so can be taxable under rcm manpower services 5 lakh and auditing services 1 lakh very different services auditing manpower and security other information shanky consultants also paid basically they have received some things let's see sponsorship of fees of 70000 there are partnership firm so this will be under rcm 70000 Pays rent amounting to six lakh for a building owned by the government, so this will also be under RCM. Even six lakh under RCM, so six lakh and seventy thousand, six lakh seventy thousand, and all the services are eighteen percent, and all are interest rates so into nine nine percent. Sixty thousand three hundred will have to be paid. Who will have to pay it? 
Shanky Consultants because this is under RCM. Based on the above information, very small case study. What is the aggregate turnover, Shanty Consultants? <laughs> aggregate turnover basically means everything outward except IIGN, which was not there. So 2 crore, 3 crore, 3 crore, and 5 lakhs. Next, GSC liability paid under reverse charge is 60,000, 60,300. State which of the following statement is true in respect of security services provided by Shanky Consultants. Shanky Consultants shall issue the GST a compliant tax invoice. No, uh, they are basically under RCM. So hence, they will issue a bill of supply. As in the in the book, the answer is given as uh, GST compliant tax invoice. No, it is under RCM now. So this will apply. Answer is B. Next, moving on to the ninth question, guys. PTL Private Limited is a retail store of merchandise located in 25 states in the country. Maybe they'll require registration in every entity, every state. Yes. Just one second. For the purpose of clearing of stock, they are giving a BOGO offer, buy one, get one free offer. Guys, buy one, get one free offer is taxable because you have to pay something. So under 71A, it will be taxable. It's not 71C because 71C is when there is no consideration. You are At least you're paying for one. Same type of merchandise for one shirt for one shirt free. So saving cost, PTL directly purchases merchandise from the manufacturers. In the month of May, in order to save employee costs, PTL purchases a tempo traveler worth 12 lakh with seating capacity 25. Guys, on this, will they get ITC? Yes. Voluntarily obtained health insurance, no ITC. Premium of 1500, sorry, no ITC on this. In the month of July, Raghav, a consumer of the company, filed a lawsuit with the court against the company for not supplying goods, value of 1 lakh. They engaged a lawyer uh, for a 25,000. As per the terms of contract, Ram issued an invoice on 25th July. So this is basically RCM services. 13.3 says recipient pays in 61 or in 31 entirely. R goes out, this becomes 61. So whenever the payment is made, consideration is not paid. Invoice was issued on 5th July. So 5th July to 5th August, 5th August to 4th September is basically the time of supply. With respect to buy one, get one free, which of the following statement is true? It will not be considered supply. Wrong. Supply of item which consideration is charged is under 7. While supply of the other item is free or is not a supply. Wrong. These are two individual suppliers where single price is charged. Since supply is charged, the same will be taxed as mixed. Not always mixed. It can be mixed or it can be composite as the case may be. So answer is D. This one is the right answer. On the purchase of Temple Traveler, will you get ITC? Yes. On health insurance, nil. So B is the right answer. Tempo traveler you will get, others you will not get. Which of the following statement is true in respect of service of advocate and availed by a company? ITC, guys, will you have to pay on 180 days? Rule 37 says that you have to pay within 180 days, but this rule does not apply in three cases, FTR. Free supply, where you have to pay a third party and case of RCM, why will they focus on the supplier? And rule 37 does not apply in this case. So this is the wrong answer. Not paid within 80 days is the wrong answer. The 180 days rule does not apply and GST is to be paid on by the company. Absolutely right answer because advocate services are under RCM. Perfect. Moving on to the 10th case study, guys. The 10th case study talks about a person called Mr. Kumar who is an interior designer. Uh, for the month of January's turnover up to the month of January, he started his business. Up to the month of March, it was 12,50. On 30th June, his turnover exceeded 20 lakh and reached 20 lakh 5,000. Mr. Kumar applied for GSA registration as a regular taxpayer on 15 July. Basically, is he proactive? Yes, within 30 days he applied. And did he get it on 25th July? Yes, so the effective date will be 30th June. I'm just writing, maybe that's a question. 30th June is the effective date. On 16 July, he entered into a contract for designing the flat of Mr. Sham. So July, he's doing one supply. Service complete ho thi 22nd July. Ko. Kumar ne issue invoice kar diya on the same day. So is he on time? Yes. 5th July, ko Mr. Kumar purchased some capital goods amounting to 4,50,000. From 25th July to 31st July, he availed the input services amounting to 1,75,000. So, these two purchases are Kumar. Ke. A capital goods 4,50,000 or 1.75 lakh input services. On 1st August, Mr. Kumar got another contract. So, July may a contract and August may second contract for Mr. Ram, which he accepted on 2nd August. The service was completed on 6th and the invoice was issued on 7th. So basically, it is a supply on which time of supply, if you ask, you have to look at IP because the invoice was issued within time. Uh, IP is invoice date 7th August and payment date 29th August, whichever is earlier, 7th August will be the time of supply as per this supply for the month of August in case of Ram. 
let's check the question guys the effective date of registration will be 30th june yes mr kumar can issue revised invoices guys revised invoices basically can be issued within one month from the date you got the gst registration so 25th july say one month is 24th august or 25th august eligible input tax rate available mr kumar for the month of july is basically on both these he can take itc uh, he has two purchases four lakh fifty and one lakh seventy five and on both of them, the rate is the same, 99% because the rate is given here, guys, 99%. That is 56, 250, 56, 250. If you check, both are intrastate supplies. The time of supply of services provided by Mr. Kumar to Mr. Ram is, we have already solved this. What is the time of supply? It's 7th of August. If instead of opting for regular scheme, Mr. Kumar opts to pay tax under 10 to A, then in that case, what is the tax liability pertaining to July month? Guys, generally, tax liability for composition scheme is not month wise, it's quarter wise. Because if they ask for July, so then 6 lakh into 3%, 3 that is 18,000, 18,000. Here we go, 18,000, 18,000. That was the 10th case study. Now moving on to Neha's case study, case study number 11. Let's go. In the 11th case study, Neha is engaged in the supply of services. She is registered under GST, but she is registered under composition scheme. Even that is a scheme of registration only 10 to A. The turnover for the quarter ended June was 12 lakh. April, May, June, 12 lakh. So 12 lakh into 3, 3 percent. So 36,000, 36,000 is what she'll have to pay for April, month, uh, May, June by 18 July. During July, she crossed the aggregate turnover of 50 lakh. So after you cross 50 lakh, you cannot be in this composition scheme. That's right. And hence she has opted out of composition scheme. She also started trading of goods in the month of July. She supplied an order to breathe well on X factory. X factory means a very important word. You will not be delivering the goods. The delivery will be done by the other person. You will drop it to your factory only. The details of which are as follows. Basic product price you will include. Outward freight you will not include. Packing charges you will include. Discount given on receiving the payment. Not included in the invoice and there was no agreement. So this cannot be minus. So value of supply will be 58,000. Is very important freight will not be included here because you did not promise to deliver it to that person's place. It was only X factory. That means up to your factory. Next, guys, for supplies provided to breathe well, she received half the amount in advance on 22nd July. But for goods, guys, I demand payment. Payment is to be ignored. The goods were dispatched from a factory on 25th July, delivered on 20th July. She raised the invoice on 30th July. Invoice date is 30th July. Due date of invoices when you removed it, 25th July. So earlier, 25th July will be the time of supply. Ms. Neha received 25 invoices from various suppliers involving GST of 1,50,000 for the month of July. While filing GSTR 3B for the said month on 20th August, she found that only 20 invoices involving GST of 1 lakh were uploaded. So unfortunately, she will get credit only of 1 lakh. Guys, Rule 36.4 has now been removed for November as well as May exam. November 22 also and May 23 as well. Ms. Neha supplied the goods to the following persons. To unregistered person, up to uh, below 200, you don't have to issue an invoice. You're registered, so you'll have to issue an invoice. You're unregistered, but it's more than 200, 200 or more, so she'll have to issue an invoice. Only for Pawan, she can issue a consolidated invoice. All right. Compute the tax liability for the quarter ending June. That 30,000 each we've calculated above. Compute the value of supply made by Neha. That is 58,000 rupees we've calculated above. Freight is not to be taken. The amount of ITC that can be claimed by Ms. Neha for the month of July is only 1 lakh. Earlier the answer was 1 lakh 5, but now it's only 1 lakh. Determine the time of supply. Time of supply is basically what we've discovered here. What have we written here? 25th July is the time of supply. And last guys, Neha need not issue a tax invoice to which of the following persons? Only to Mr. Pawar. That's the end of the 11th case study. Moving on to the 12th case study, Purva Logistics. Here we go, 12th case study. Here we go, guys. 12th case study, Purva Logistics is basically a goods transport agency. It provided GTA services taxable at 5%. Basically, they are following RCM method to the following persons. Konal Traders, an unregistered partnership firm. Even if it's an unregistered partnership firm, LLP, RCM would apply. So this is under RCM. Amar, who is not registered, no RCM. Small Traders Cooperative Society, RCM will apply. Everyone except few cases where there is no GST, like not registered persons will not pay. Uh, but unregistered partnership firms will still pay. I hope you know RCM services. In a particular consignment, Purva transferred the following. Guys, LL Dr. Nam is exempt. Defense is exempt. Organic manual is exempt. Railway equipment is taxable. 
नेक्स्ट पूरा लॉजिस्टिक्स ऑप्टेड टू चेंज जीएसटी एट ट्वेल्व परसेंट बेसिकली मीन दे वॉन्टेड टू गो टू एफ सी एम मेथड इन इट ब्राइट ब्राइट जी टी एस सर्विसेज टू बामा स्टील्स एफ सी एम बेसिकली मीन आई पी और पी पी विच एवर इज रेलिवेंट इट प्रोवाइडेड द सर्विसेज ऑन फर्स्ट अप्रिल एंड इशूड द इनवाइस ऑन फिफ्थ मे दैट इज देर डिले आफ्टर थर्टी डेज सो एंस वी लुक एट पी पी प्रोविजन इज फर्स्ट अप्रिल पेमेंट इज सिक्स मे विच एवर इज अर्लियर फर्स्ट अप्रिल इज द टाइम ऑफ सप्लाई Let's check which of the following person are liable to pay GST and the reverse charge. Kunal traders yes, Amar no, small traders yes. One and three is the right option. C is the right answer. Next, out of the item transported by Purva, which of the following is exempt? Defence and organic manure. One and three are exempt. What will be the time of supply and respect of services provided by Purva Logistics to Bama Steel? First April. And uh, which of the statement is true for services provided by Purva to Bama? Bama is liable to pay GST. No. they are not under rcm because 12% so purva is liable to pay gst yes they will collect and they are liable to pay remember guys they are not talking about the burden they are talking about who is going to pay the gst to the government this is fcm so purva logistics is going to pay because it's under 12% now 13 case study on the screen here we go guys question number 13 All right. So here, Vidanshu and Company is a partnership firm engaged in retail trade on first of April. The firm became liable on first of October. It applied for registration on tenth October. Basically, they were liable and they were very proactive. And hence, the effective date will be first October. Yes, that could be a question. First October is the effective date. It had inputs held in stock, semi-finished and finished goods. Guys, when you are re registering. Uh, and you are liable to register and you register. The government gets very happy and hence they give you uh, ITC on the stock which is held in. uh semi finished finished and real raw material form so as on 30th september one day before that whatever was there in the godown you will get credit but capital goods you will not get it needs to transport one consignment to the transporter and then to the consignee the distance to the transporter is only 20 kilometers and from transporter is 100 kilometers 99 so up to 50 kilometers guys in the same state part b does not have to be filled so till the transporter part b will not have to be filled in the month of november the firm had 80 invoices out of which Only sixty were uploaded of seven point seven lakhs. So only that much credit will be given, guys. Earlier, guys, you would get five percent more. Rule thirty six four has since been removed. So only seven point seven lakhs. While filing the return, the firm generated an e challan on fifth December for making payment. That is called G uh, C pin. That is valid for fifteen days of so fifth December to twenty eighth December. Let's check the questions, guys. Here we go. determine the effective date effective date is 1st of october because they were liable and proactive liable to claim itc on inputs held in stock as on 30th september yes whether it's raw material semi finished or finished goods part b need not be filled instead of transport or consignment go down to the transporter absolutely right this is the right answer compute the amount of itc only 7.7 lakh which is not an option here guys you'll have to write 7.7 the option here is 80 8 lakh which is now rule 36 4 has been removed so you only get what has been uploaded by the supplier and validity of each alarm is till 20th december that is the 13th case study now over to the 14th one 15 16 17 th and that's the end of it so we'll go to the 14th case study now guys the 14th case study is safe bank limited it's a small finance bank also called an nbfc or a small finance bank was incorporated in april The bank got registered under GST immediately. All right, bank. Let's see what how safe are you playing. Let's see what are your questions. Safe bank receives software support services free of cost from its head office located in United Kingdom for business purposes. So, but it is free of cost. So seven one C, and it is a uh, schedule one. Is it importation of services and is it from related party? Yes. So this is the supply. Safe bank also provided one high end laptop worth ah uh, fifty thousand to its new managing director. Up to fifty thousand to an employer employee is exempt. So this is not a supply. This is a supply. The bank opened one twenty five branches. The bank appointed quick loan providers, a direct selling agent on pan India basis. But because the direct selling agent is not an individual, this will be under FCM. It also appointed a recovery services private limited. For that, guys, recovery services to a bank is always under RCM. Only for direct selling agent, you should be an individual. Only then RCM applies. Safe Bank provides the following details: interest received on term loan exempt, interest received on credit card taxable, interest received on FD exempt, commission received taxable, documentation taxable, and sale of foreign exchange to another authorized dealer exempt. So one lakh twenty five, six lakh twenty, and three lakh. If you add, it is ten lakh forty five taxable. So ten lakh forty five taxable. 
which of the following statements is correct receipt of software support from safe bank from its hos supply yes issue of laptop to md is supply no receipt is not a supply no issue of laptop is not a supply right one and four is the right answer in respect of services available by say safe bank the bank shall pay tax under reverse charge for which of the selling services quick loan no fast recovery yes compute the value of exempt supply exempt we don't know but taxable we know 10 lakh 45 minus it from the total and you'll get exempt supply as well guys this was question or case study number 14 over to the 15th one now guys this 15 case study is an insurance company called kbc insurance is providing life and non-life insurance. It has approval of IRDA. It secures a business through various insurance agents. Remember, insurance agents will be under RCM, their charges. The GST will be under RCM. Uh, the company avails services of renting a motor vehicle. So if they avail services of renting a motor vehicle from a company that is under FCM, if this was not a company and KBC insurance is a company, that could be RCM. But because the service supplier is a company, this is under FCM. So RCM is only one that is insurance agent. KBC provides the following details of insurance. Guys, any government insurance, yojanas, etc. are exempt. So this is exempt. Premium of this policy is exempt. This is exempt. Micro life insurance is also exempt, but only up to 2 lakhs. This is 2.5 lakhs, so taxable. Uh, this is self-help groups of women, exempt. Uh, business units, taxable. Money back policy, taxable. So 12 plus 17 plus 4, 23 lakhs is taxable. If they ask for taxable, if they ask for exempt, the remaining 9 lakh is exempt. KBC is a proposal for pandemic insurance for IPL matches. Uh, Sum assured is 250 crores. The company issued the policy on 1st July. Invoice was 5th, 5th August. Is that late? Beyond 30 days? No, guys. This is beyond 45 days you have to see because it's an insurance company. So you're in time. So IP, invoice date that is 5th August or payment date 14th August, which is a time of supply 5th August. Let's see. Plus, Purchase of car not allowed, bus 14% capacity allowed, 80,000 of repair insurance of the bus that is also allowed. Perfect. Now, guys, determine the services on which uh, government is uh, company is liable to pay tax under RCM. This is basically only insurance agent services. Compute the total value of exam supply 9 lakh. Compute the total value of taxable supply 23 lakh. All have been calculated above. And determine the amount of ITC that can be claimed 3 lakh plus 80,000, 3 lakh 80,000. And time of supply is IP, that is 5th of August. That is the time of supply. Guys, this is the 15th case study. Over to the next one, the 16th one. Guys, 16, 17, 18th, only three more to go. The 16th one says Aditi and Company is a partnership firm registered under GST, which is providing some services to the government. The firm has let out on hire the following vehicles a motor vehicle. More than 15 passengers to state, just one second, to state government electricity department. Guys, this is taxable, exempt only if this was to a state transport undertaking. This is state government electricity department, so this is taxable. An electrically operated vehicle to carry more than 12 passengers to local authorities, this is exempt because more than 12 electric and municipal authority. An electrical operated vehicle up to 12 passengers. Sorry, it is taxable. It should be more than 12 passengers. Only one is exempt. Going to the next one. It avail following in input services. Works contract for plant and machinery allowed. Yes. 70,000 paid under a fraud. Not allowed. 10 lakh on which GST for 180 days for which payment is made only up to 4 lakh. Guys, on this, you are already taken credit. So, only 1 lakh 10,000 credit can be taken ITC for the month of October. But 6 lakh has not been paid after 180 days also. So, 60,000 will have to be reversed. I am writing it as negative. We will have to reverse it along with interest. Two independent supplies. Uh, one was understated by 75,000. So, we will have to increase it. That is dangerous. So, debit note for 75,000. And one was overstated. So, we will have to cut it. So, credit note of 45,000. The firm receives certain supply of goods amounting to 840 from registered person on which tax is payable under reverse charge. So whenever you pay them back, you'll have to give a payment voucher. In respect of vehicles, let on hire services that are exempt as only one uh, letting or hire electric operated vehicle. Only this one is the exempt one, second one. Next, the amount of eligible ITC is only 1 lakh 10,000 because that is construction of plant and machinery. Determine the amount of ITC to be added to the output tax liability, basically reversing, ignoring interest is 60,000. 
and which of the following is correct for 75,000 debit note and for 45,000 credit note 1 and 4. And here, which of the following statements is correct for 8,40,000, you have to issue a payment voucher. No invoice, no in no C voucher, no invoice. So answer is 1, 16th case study that is over to the last two, 17 and 18th. This one's pretty simple. The 17 case study is a charitable trust called MM Charitable Trust. Uh, they are registered. Yes. The trust conducted a yoga camp. Guys, yoga camp is composite supply. The, uh, the uh, principal supply being yoga. And hence, the entire thing is exempt. Yes, yoga is exempt. They also provided advancement of education for people above 65 years. In, unfortunately, metro cities. This is exempt only if it's in rural, uh, rural areas. This is metro. So, hence, it will be taxable. The trust received the following donation. The first one, Sunil Shalman donated 75,000 worth an RO, but said that the trusted by all his company's name should be there, so it is taxable. The next one, shares of 25,000, love all is printed, so it is exempt, so it is not taxable. Only the first one, 75,000 is taxable. Next, so 1,75,000 was for the purchase of motor vehicles, seating capacity, including drivers 13. It should be more than 13, only then you'll get an ITC. GST of 2,45,000, construction of office building, no ITC because it is blocked. Uh, it also owns a Gurudwara, rented community hall for 8,500. So, hall is exempt. But uh, the shop is 10,000. It should be less than, guys, less than, less than, less than is the keyword. So, this is taxable. Remember, charity charges less. So, less than should be the word. Which of the following activities is exempt? Advancement of yoga, not education. So, A is the right answer. Determine the value of taxable supply, 75,000, 25,000 is not taxable. Amount of ITC, sorry, you don't get any ITC. Uh, renting of community hall is exempt, while renting of shop is taxable. Sorry, renting of community hall is exempt, while renting of commercial shop is taxable. So, 17.4B is the right answer. We move to the last case study. Let's do this one, guys. 18th case study, Mr. Dave. Guys, Mr. Dev is engaged in the supply of tiles and marbles from the state of Telangana. He is not registered under GST. He comments his business. Guys, he is right now not registered under GST. He comments his business from the month of July. He availed go-down construction services from, from his brother-in-law who was dependent on him. He also availed consultancy services for the purpose of business from his son who was a professional residing in London and his son was not dependent on him. Mr. Dev did not pay anything for the supply. Guys, in both the cases, the first one and both are under 71C, but only it should be for business purpose, it should be from related person. The first is not related. The second one is taxable and he will have to pay tax under RC. He reached a turnover of 7 lakh on 31st October. However, he planned to expand his business since he received recent orders from other states as well. During the month of December, he received a consignment of tiles from Rajasthan through prompt couriers at GTA. The GTA charged him basically 12% and 50,000. But guys, he's not registered. If you're not registered, unregistered, then in this case, guys, they will be exempt. It will not be taxable. During the month of Jan, Mr. Dev made his first interstate supply of goods. For that, he will have to be registered, guys. He made the supply on 4th Jan. His turnover before making such supply was 15 lakhs. Value of interstate supply was 4.5 lakh, exclusive of taxes. Payment for the said interstate supply was received on 28th February. Invoice was received on 25th January, guys. This is IDP. Payment doesn't matter. Invoice date is 25th Jan, but due date of invoice is 4th Jan because they were removed and delivered by then. So 4th Jan is the time of supply. Let's see the questions, guys. The first one, in respect of which of the services, uh, which of the following correct statement, go down construction is deemed supply, no. Professional services from his son is deemed supply, yes. Up to limit of what, Mr. They can continue to supply goods without registration. It's in Telangana, so 20 lakh rupees. What is the tax liability for freight charges? Nil because it is exempt. He is not registered then. And uh, Mr. Dave is liable to register because in the month of January, he is going to make interstate outward supply. So this is the reason he should register. And last, what is the time of supply? The time of supply is 4th January. Guys, this is the end of all the MCQs. 18th one, this one is the end of all. Watch out. Just one second. All right, so that was the MCQ. Pretty exhaustive, guys. But this has to be done together because I feel as a student, you're anyway so tired doing so many subjects. So doing this on your own will be a big task. Do it with me and finish it with me. 
all the best and let me know if you need any other videos as well. Thank you and see you now for the DTMCQs as well.